Well, Blue Jay fans, baseball fans around Canada, baseball fans really all over the world, you know, yesterday was a day that we lost someone. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a different video. This is not a game recap or anything. This is the first time I've ever done, ever done something um, like this on my channel. But it does. It needs to happen. I mean, he deserves it. And uh, if you guys did not hear, then I don't know. I mean, it was everywhere. But the Jays and the Phillies and Major League Baseball lost someone very big in our hearts. And that was Roy Halladay. I mean, our... our Blue Jays Cy Young Award winner, franchise leader in probably countless uh, categories, and really fan favorite and face of the franchise for many years. There was a uh, you know he he was I guess he was he was flying on his own uh, down I guess it was in Florida somewhere down in the Gulf of Mexico in that area, and um, it went down in the water and the rest is history. Now, I know yesterday when I heard about it, here we go. I'm going to try and hold it all in, people. I'm going to try and hold it in. Um, I, it was total shock. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I mean, 40 years old, just retired from baseball, was about to settle down with his family. Well, he probably already was. It was a, it was a year ago. Um, probably settled down with his family, just getting things going. He has his two kids that are playing baseball now. And then, bang, it's all over. Now, I can't even imagine what his family is going through right now. I can't even, I can't even fathom what they have, what they're thinking, what they're going to have to do to get over this. Because it's, no one deserves to go through something like this. And I know for me personally, growing up in Toronto, being a diehard Jays fan since I was a little guy, playing t-ball down in, you know, when I was a young guy, playing rookie ball, playing mosquito, doing all those leagues, and going to Jays games when I was younger, you know, uh, you, if you guys remember the flashback, I think it was flashback Fridays, every Friday they wore those blue uniforms, and uh, I usually went on Fridays just because my parents and I, you know, were like, ah, oh, it's Friday, I don't have school on the, on the weekend, they don't work on the weekend, let's have a good time on a Friday night, go to a ball game. And every time, I was hoping it was it was it was Doc, it was Roy Halladay on the mound, and uh, you know there were there were a lot of times where it was, and and just seeing him pitch and seeing what he did on that mound, it it was just unbelievable, and his story is remarkable. Now, if you any if you, any of you guys don't know what his story is all about, because you're a younger Jays fan who didn't really get a chance to see him, he was drafted in the first round by the Blue Jays uh, back way back. And uh, he came up to the big ball club, struggled. And what did the Jays decide to do? Send him down to A ball. And and for most players, that would crush them. That would hurt them. It would it would just demolish their confidence. It would kill them. And I think initially for, for Roy, it did. But I think they said they he found some book and he was and and all, and some other things happened and he changed a couple pitching mechanics and and did a lot of bullpen sessions and then something just clicked and then he came back I don't know if it was the same year he came back up or what but when he did he became the pitcher we know and love today you know I, I just. He did so much for this city, and so I'm, I want I, I want to see the attendance when it comes to when he was on the mound, whether it was other other any other pitcher on the mound, because it was probably through the roof different. You know, like I said, like Jose Bautista was the face of this franchise right now, uh, as much as he's going to be leaving this team probably this year. Um, he was the face of this franchise for what ten years as he was. Roy Halladay, I mean. The Jays never made the playoffs when he played. But he was here for 12 years and dominated every single season. He was the face of the franchise. He was our Jose Bautista for 12 years. And that's why this is especially difficult. You know, he was I think it was this year he was going to go into the Hall of Fame, which he still should. And uh, his name was going to be on the level of excellence. And it damn well should be still. Because he's still a le legend, and he's not a living 
legend right now. But damn it, he's a legend. And there's no question about it. He should be on that on that level of excellence and that his name should be in the Hall of Fame. There's no question about it. His career ERA was 3.38. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous, especially when you're pitching in the American League East for 12 seasons for most of your career. And I could see him being a coach for his kid and watching him grow up and probably get into the majors at some point. But no. No. It had to happen that way, didn't it? Sucks, you know. So because he, he, there was a little story that happened. I'm gonna wrap it up with this. Um, there was a story that came out. Uh, I think it was in like 2014 or or, or tw- something like that. Um, no, no, excuse me. It was 2015. The uh, no, I think it was 2016. The emergence of Aaron Sanchez, that kind of thing. Um, remember, you guys remember when Aaron Sanchez got sent down to Dunedin? Not for like a like a bad thing, but it was kind of like some conditioning stint to keep his innings down and something like that. Aaron Sanchez had a you know was spending time with Roy Halladay, picking his brain, doing all that kind of stuff to learn everything and anything about the game of baseball and how it's how he succeeded and so. I'm not saying Aaron Sanchez is going to be Roy Halladay, but who knows? <laughs> but uh, the, the influence he had on all these Blue Jays and uh, a lot of players in the majors. You saw Chase Utley getting all emotional. I mean, it was just an emotional day yesterday. And it probably still will be for at least a few more days. But we're mourning this loss of Roy Halladay, the Doc. All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. I just wanted to do a quick one. I know it got to seven minutes, but I just had to say a good piece about Roy Halladay because he, he was an icon for the Blue Jays. All right, so hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this one and support Doc with that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Uh, I don't. I hope not to do many of these videos because it shouldn't happen. It, You know, it, it really shouldn't. Uh, yeah, comment down below. What, what was your fondest moments of, of Roy Halladay? Uh, any comments you guys have to say about him? Just go nuts in the comments for him, you guys. And uh, we'll talk to you guys. I guess it'll be tonight, Leafs edition, as they're taking on the Minnesota Wild. Doesn't look like Austin Matthews is going to play. Oh, boy. That's why Frederick Oche got the call up uh, yesterday. And we'll talk to you guys, Raptors edition. Um, that'll be Thursday as the Pelicans are in town. Raptors looking to win two in a row and feel good about themselves. But right now, it's just a tough time. Rest in peace, Doc. Rest in peace.